they have been living in this land for anywhere between ten to forty thousand years. I can see his spirit, it's very strong. For over five thousand years, a city with a whole elaborate spiritual and religious processes and rituals existed. Be with us, ride with me. Here right now at uh, Bear Butte, Black Hills. This region is sacred for the Lakota Nation. Crazy Horse, one of the most well-known and quite a remarkable leader of the Lakotas, his father received his vision here at the Bear Butte. This gift that I'm going to present to my friends is not coming from me. It's coming from this mountain, mm -hmm. from the Creator. These are the most sacred to us, the most sacred. And the prayer that is with us, to be with you on your journey. Whenever you leave home, they're going to take care of you, be with you. Whatever you ask for, that will come to be. Oh, yeah, it was really beautiful. It was, it was like him and I was walking on the clouds and we, we flew into each other. Very powerful. And I could see his spirit. It's very strong. And I hope he prays for us too. It was awesome, beautiful. That's why I said I hope to see him again someday. Thank you for coming here. The things we shared, we talked about. Now he knows me better. And maybe our visions will come together someday. In this Lakota country right now, it is very, very eye-opening to see how they were fond of uh, Mother Earth, how they structured their life around that, and how they lived in tune with nature with absolute passion for everything around them and a certain sense of dispassion about their own life, about their own death. I think there is a lot that modern societies need to pick up from ancient societies because there was a certain cohesiveness with life around them. Without that cohesiveness, everything seems to be problem.